And then I got lucky and found uh, an idea of doing a song called Wild Thing. So that was Fancy? Yeah. Who didn't do much in the UK, but were in America were significant, weren't they? Yeah. They were a super group, and nobody knew it. <laughs> Ray Fennick, one of the best guitarists in the country, Mo Foster, one of the best bass guitarists in the country, and Les Binks, who became Judas Priest drummer, uh, and Annie Kavanagh, of course, the singer. They were fantastic. Problem was, and this is the eternal problem of the record producer, what I did to make a hit, first of all, before I classified them as a group, was just a one-off commercial studio musician record with a penthouse pet, Helen Kunt, breathing all over it. <sighs> Wild thing. <laughs> oh, see, and I made it, because I thought a woman doing this, this is, this day and age, you couldn't do it. I thought a woman doing this, this is really sexy. This is going to drive people crazy. And I did it, Wild Thing, in a very raunchy version with this young lady. Took it in to Atlantic Records UK. We can't put that out. So I thought, oh, well, I lost that one. Next thing I know, someone in Atlantic in London send it to America. Big Tree, part of Atlantic Records. Big Tree picks up and says, that's a hit record. Got to have it. Put it up. Top 20 in the USA. <laughs> Huge hit. Americans loved it. And they still do. I have people who speak to me from the States and say, I remember where I was when I first heard that record. And I have to imagine where they were. Uh, it was a very sexy record. So, you know, I'm interested in this. What is it in you at that time that knew what was a hit and what wouldn't be a hit? You, was it instinct? Or? Yes, it's, it's an instinct. You can't, it's only an instinct that works occasionally. If it was right all the time, you'd be a bloody genius. I'm not a bloody genius, but I do have an instinct for certain things. I knew that Wild Thing record, I knew it was a hit. And it proved it, it did happen. So then I put them together as a group got rid of the penthouse pet and got a fantastic singer, Annie Kavanagh. The American public didn't want this. <laughs> they liked the heavy breathing and the commercial <laughs> record. They didn't want four great musicians who could play fantastic music. We toured America. We had a hit with the follow-up, which I wrote, Touch Me. We had a hit with that. But after that, zilch because they weren't what the general public in America wanted. Yeah. It's kind of sad, yeah. but a salutary lesson.